多谢呃建国队的献唱。Our scripture reading for today is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter five. Gospel of Luke, chapter five, verses one to eleven. Once, while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God. He saw two boats there at the shore on the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. Said to Simon, when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon. Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, "Master, we have worked all night long but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the net." When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help. And they came and filled both boats. So that they began to sink, but when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, "Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man." For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken, and so also were James and John, son of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, "Do not be afraid. From now on." He will be catching people. When they had brought their their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let me begin the message with a very interesting question. Now listen, listen, listen close, listen carefully. What do John the Baptist and Winnie the Pooh have in common? Let me ask that again. What do John the Baptist and Winnie the Pooh have in common? Answer: They all have the same middle name. John the Baptist, Winnie the Pooh, same middle name. P H E. You said, "Hey, that was very obvious." But the question is, why is the obvious so hard? Often, so hard for us to see. Let me give you another example. A pastor went out to visit his, you know, practitioners. When he came near the house, he heard the sound of piano playing. It was not the sound of an accomplished pianist finding joy in making music. It was rather that of a beginner doing stumbling, clashing, rhythmless exercise. You know that. Peeking through the window, the pastor saw the family's eight-year-old boy seated in front of the piano. The pastor made a light tapping on the window glass. And this brought the boy flying off the piano bench and racing to the door. Hi, Matthew. What are you doing? The pastor asked. Oh, I'm practicing my piano lesson. Matthew replied. Well, I came to talk to your mom. Is she home? Matthew replied. Is she home? I am playing piano. What do you think? Of course, she is home. Otherwise, I won't be doing this again. Why is the obvious so hard for you and I to see, brothers and sisters? Precisely because the obvious is so, you know, is so hard to see. So we need to state and even restate the obvious. Because it is so hard to see, you need to repeat it. 
the great 18th century English author, Dr. Samuel Johnson said, never be afraid to state the obvious. It is what most people have forgotten because it's so plain, so obvious, people tend to forget it. This morning, one of the obvious, not just the obvious, if you, you, know, if you can see the title of the message, Stating the obvious, obvious, there is no title. It is deliberate. This morning, one of the obvious, no, not the obvious, one of the obvious, obvious message is stated, actually repeated in today's gospel reading. I'm going to, you know, briefly, uh, you know, repeat that story because we are talking about obvious, obvious. The story is about Jesus and Simon Peter. Jesus first uses Simon Peter's boat to create a safe place from which to preach. Jesus used Simon's boat to be the pulpit, so to speak. But then, interesting, ha interesting thing happened. But then, when Jesus causes the net on Simon's boat to fill with, you know, fish, fill with fish, almost to the breaking point, Simon Peter suddenly realized that this is not just a gifted speaker or a talented teacher that he has welcomed on board. Keenly aware of the eternal distance separating him and Jesus, Simon Peter cried out to Jesus, go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. I'm going to use that declaration as the, you know, as the, as the essence, the substance of today's message. Brothers and sisters, Simon Peter's declaration, go away from me, because I am a sinful man. That declaration is what the church has forgotten for some time. It is forgotten because to say I am a sinner, you are a sinner, and we are all sinners, is not only to state the obvious, it is actually to state the obvious obvious. That is why the church tend to forget that important message. It is no brainer, and yet it is fundamental confession that you and I and every Christian have to make if you are trying to live faithful Christian life. In fact, there are many more such obvious, obvious statements we need to make. Let me give you some example. Something like, Follow me and I will make you fish for people. Mark 1, 11, 1 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. You know where that is from. John 3, 13, 16. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. John 11, 25, 26. I'm giving you those commands so that you may love one another. John 15, 17. Brothers and sisters, we need to make those obvious, obvious statements of faith. Because there are so many fuzzy areas in today's living that we need a freshness and straightforwardness, direct answer to center our spiritual focus. These obvious, obvious statements of faith help us and can provide, actually provide that guidance. You know, as a pastor for more than 20 years, I have a confession to make. Sometimes, the church tried to make too hard, but Jesus made so easy. You know, the church tend to make things complicated. 
And in fact, Jesus made it very simple and easy. Don't fall into that trap. Knut Larson, pastor of the chapel in Akron, Ohio, has as a motto, and I love it. It says, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Sounds like a twister, but it is a simple truth. We all do the same. We all must do the same. Keep focused. Keep the main thing, the most important thing, the most important thing. It is that, it is that simple. We are all sinners in need of God's salvation in Jesus Christ. That is one of the obvious, obvious statements of faith. We should never forget if we are trying to live, to conduct a faithful Christian living. Keep that in mind. We are all sinners in need of God's salvation and your spiritual life will be focused. I will turn to the Taiwanese congregation.